self-care is anything you want it to be. It, you know, I, I don't know if you're like me, but it's like, so that it's the buzzword is kind of almost annoying and it, it, it kind of has this connotation of like, Oh, one more thing I have to do or I'm not healthy, you know, and, and who has time to sit in a bubble bath for an hour. And it doesn't have to be that. I mean, if sitting in a bubble bath for an hour is your version of self care, then by all means do it. But it can be as simple as enjoying a cup of tea on your terrace or cuddling with your dog or cat or watching Netflix, you know, your favorite show on Netflix. Self care is just something that makes you feel good and relaxed and that takes care of you. I mean, certainly watching TV is not exactly enhancing your well being, but it is enhancing, you know, you. So ideally, self care also helps your well being. So things like sleeping and walking and um, reading and the, these kinds of things. But um, what I'm going to do this week is Kind of, I want you to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. So if there's something that I suggest that's not really in line with what you like, maybe give it a try anyway and just kind of expand your horizons. Um, and the reason that self-care is so important is because the bottom line is if you're not taking care of yourself, you cannot take care of others properly. And you really can't be your best for your loved ones, your children, your spouse, your partner, your colleagues, you know, your clients. You just can't, and and it really does create stress. And also, you know, self care is getting introspective and it's personal development. And if you're not focusing on yourself at least some of the time, it causes stress, and it can lead you to looking to other things, overeating, excess alcohol. Um, it can lead to depression, and so that's self care really wards off these things. And that's that's why I'm such a big proponent of it. And it can be just as simple as something you do for two minutes. And, you know, it makes you more productive and it also makes you more, it helps you get to know yourself better because you, you're you just focusing on yourself and it also helps you love yourself more because self-love, the most important relationship that you're ever going to have is the one with yourself. And, you know, we are spiritual beings in a physical body. We're not people who have a, a soul and a spirit. We're, and if we don't nurture that, then things go awry. So getting to know yourself and love yourself. And I'm, believe me, it's, I know it's not easy. That's why these little habits that you do on a daily basis are, will create the habit. And I mean, it's not easy. I don't think it's easy for any, anyone except for maybe Mother Teresa or the, the Dalai Lama. But that's why it takes practice. And I notice when I get out of the practice, that's when I spiral and I start getting that self doubt and, you know, get getting that playing the victim and, Oh, you know, just all the negative things. And you just, if you're not loving yourself, the other thing is no one can love you. People can only love you the way you love yourself. And that is really the truth. So, and people are going to treat you the way you treat yourself. Like, things get reflected back to us and what is, you know, what we put out in the world is, is, is what comes back to us, but also what we are, what you think on expands and, and, and your world is created by your thoughts. So you want to trigger those negative thoughts and replace them with positive thoughts and self care really helps us do that. Um, and it doesn't have to be affirmations that you don't believe, you know, you just, you can think of something simple, um, to maybe replace a negative thought with. But um, that first day, that was kind of like what the uh, the assignment or activity of the first day was, going outside at night and gazing at the moon and just thinking a positive thought. And I like to, you know, come up with something that just feels in alignment with yourself so then when you have those negative thoughts creep in, you can replace it with, you know, anything that's simple. You know, I am loved. I love myself. I am enough. God loves me. The universe has my back. Anything simple that can just kind of replace that negative negative thought process is is really beneficial. Um, so, and then to, uh, yesterday, you know, I mean, friendship is and, and loved ones and, and meaningful relationships. That's that is one of the most important things for our health. In fact, they say connected, meaningful relationships are really not having you know, a few quality, connected, meaningful, loving relationships is as detrimental to your health as, as smoking. Um, and, and, and I mean, we don't need studies to tell us that, that being with our loved ones and our friends and it is so important and it's just so fun. And that's one thing I'm missing 
you know, from this from this pandemic. So that's why yesterday, FaceTime, you're calling a friend, a loved one, really staying connected. And I don't know wherever you are in the world, like I'm in Ventura County, but I'm right next door to Los Angeles County and they just extended the mandate. So it could go on for a long time. And so we really want to stay connected. And it's so great with, with today's technology that you can, you know, you just have your cell phone and you can FaceTime and you can do the Zoom calls and the video chats and Skype and, and whatnot. So I just want to see if you guys have any questions and also please let me know how you are doing. Um, you know, and how, how you're managing things and how you're, how you're handling things. And today's uh, activity is one of my favorites. And last time when I had the retreat, people really loved this one too. Um, decluttering is such a great activity because it accomplishes, it accomplishes so much. Inner chaos or outer chaos creates inner chaos. So when our space is cluttered and, 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 and disorganized, it kind of creates that in the mind. And I certainly feel that. So, you know, you want your, your space to be, and I'm not saying you have to be a neat Nick, but you want your space to be, you know, cleared and straightened and neat. And um, it just will help declutter your mind as well. You'll be surprised at how, how the connection. And um, let me know if you already see that, if you, you know, if you've noticed that. So, you know, you can start with something small like the junk drawer or your desk or whatever. But I think a great thing to do during this pandemic, since you have more time, is tackle the garage, the attic, the basement, a closet, and and make it a big project. And again, like we talked about a few minutes ago, it helps you focus on something. A big project like that will help you focus and keep your mind off what you're worrying about. And um, it's such a stress reliever to that that gives you that sense of accomplishment and 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 being productive and wow when you declutter and organize something i mean it's just that it's like euphoria that feeling i really love that feeling and it really helps your um home too it helps clean your home because i don't know if you've noticed i'm sure you've noticed when you clean something out even if you're you know cleaning on a regular basis dirt and allergens and toxins they hide between and underneath things that you can't get to on a regular basis so it really helps uh, clear that stuff out. And it's definitely dirt and allergens, but also toxins. Toxins wreak, wreak havoc on your health and they impair your immune system. And a strong immune system is the most important thing right now. So you want to be cleaning with non-toxic cleaning so, solutions and stuff and, and dusting and, and getting rid of all those, those toxins that settle in the dust. And, um, you know, I've got plenty of Go to kellybanana.com. I've got plenty of, I've got a free guide and, 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 and a masterclass to help you do that with ease because it's, it's more than just cleaning. It's detoxing too. So that's a great thing about decluttering is you get, get a cleaner house too. And it really brings harmony to the home. And it just kind of like, it makes you like your space better, which is like great. And one of the best things about decluttering and purging and, and organizing is you find things that you can purge, you know, you can donate. And that's so great because somebody else will will love and need that item. So I'm I'm purge and donate like a few times a year. I'm always cleaning stuff out. I always have a pile in the, in the garage. And uh, it's just, it, it, well, it helps me because it's like if I no longer, you know, love or need something, it creates a better harmony in my home. But also I like that it's it's helping someone else. Someone else can either need or really love that, that item. So it's a great thing to do. Um, so let me know, you know, what you like about decluttering or is it just not your thing? Uh, it's so funny because my, my two boys, my 17 year old, he's, he's pretty neat. He's, 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 his room is neat. I never really had to tell him to, to clean his room, but my, my 14 year old, oh my goodness. He's, he's like the creative genius and, and he's a mess. It's always like Jackson clean up, clean up, clean up. He recently got a new desk and that helped him get a little more organized, but it's, they're like the odd couple and they have to share a bathroom too. But you know, and, and it's fine if you're not like a neat Nick, but just to have some order in your space, you will, you really will notice an energetic shift. Um, so that's really all I have for today. And if you, um, please let me know if you have any questions and give me some feedback and let me know how you're doing. And you know what? Share this with your friends because